So this sample may not look very much, but it's a sample of the saltiest water that you can find on this planet. It comes from a really small lake, not even a lake, a pond in the north of Ethiopia. This was collected by one of my friends, Eduardo Perez, when he was on holiday, collected in a plastic water bottle, and then he analyzed it and found that it was the saltiest water that's ever been discovered, and he's got it into the Guinness World Record. Ethiopia, in case you've forgotten, is on the eastern part of Africa, quite close to the equator. And right in the north, there's a region called the Danakil Depression, which is well below sea level. It's part of the Rift Valley, which is an area of huge seismic and volcanic activity. And in 2005, following an earthquake, a new lake appeared. I'm sure I don't pronounce it correctly, but its name looks to me as if it's pronounced Get Ale. What is really unusual is the water is very hot, 60 degrees centigrade. That's hotter than you can bear to jump into. And it's hot because there is a hot spring coming through the volcanic rock. And not only is it coming up and bubbling up into the lake, you can see great bubbles coming up. But at the same time, it is dissolving salts that are in the soil. The concentration of the salt is so high, mixture of calcium and magnesium chloride, that the water is actually saturated. You cannot physically dissolve any more salt. There is 43.3% dissolved solid by weight. What that means is if you have a litre of water, you have 433 grams of dissolved solid, nearly half the weight of the water. Even in this small sample that I've got, you can see a big difference in weight. I've got an empty bottle, a bottle of water, and a bottle of the water from the pond. We weigh the empty bottle, and this balance has a thing that is called a tear, which allows us to set it to zero when the bottle's on there. So we'll just weigh whatever's in the bottle. We put on the water, it comes to 15.5. We put this on here, 22.2. The other thing that you might notice is that because this water is at room temperature, and this room in Nottingham is barely 20 degrees today, that some of the salt has precipitated. You can see that they're crystals at the bottom. And this is because, in general, these types of salts dissolve better in hot water than they do in cold water. So when you put the water in here, let it cool down, some of the things precipitate. Some of you who know chemistry will say calcium chloride and magnesium chloride are colourless. So why is this water yellow? And the answer is that it contains a trace of iron 3, which forms quite a strong yellow colour in the presence of high concentrations of chloride. So although it looks yellow, the yellow component is a really tiny part. Of course, people have been looking for the saltiest water in the world for some time. This is a new record, and you might wonder what was the previous record. And the previous record was a pond called the Don Juan Pond, in the Antarctica, where there was a very, or there still is, a very salty lake, which has 403 grams per litre of dissolved salt. Now, the reason why it's not as salty as this pond in Ethiopia is because Ethiopia is near the equator and the water is hotter than in Antarctica. As you cool down water, even though it's still saturated, it contains less salt. And the colder you go, the less and less salt will dissolve. Eventually, when it freezes to ice, you get no salt in it at all. You might ask, how does this compare with the Dead Sea? I think it's about twice as much salt or dissolved material as the Dead Sea. According to Brady, the Dead Sea water tastes like acid.
I won't, but we haven't got much time. Oh! Don't, yeah, don't, you didn't just think it. Yeah, it's salty. <laughs> We're not going to taste this, but broadly it will, it will taste twice as awful, unless its taste is logarithmic, in which case it might be a lot more. Compared to seawater, it's about 14 times as salty. Well, 14 times as much dissolved salt. Seawater also has a different composition. It has a lot of sodium chloride in it, whereas there's very little sodium in this. And the reason is that this is not a pond where seawater has evaporated, but it's come from dissolved salts underground, which do not originate from the sea. This is Eduardo's paper, published in a journal called Aquatic Geochemistry. Have you ever published on that one? And no, because I'm not a geochemist and I don't study water. Is Eduardo? Eduardo is not, but he is a good chemist and good chemists can do anything. The chemical analysis of the water of the Gate Tale Pond, a small water body located in the Danakil Depression, Ethiopia, resulted to be the most saline water body on Earth, with total dissolved solids of 433 grams per kilogram. And when they started making these aerosols, in the aerosols, they put a molecule rather like this which has carbon in the middle, three fluorine atoms, and a chlorine atom. This is the Akagi River. It's about 20 kilometers from the city center. And um, we're right in the middle of a...